met a gypsy. I rode two up one time with a guy who um, runs a track day out here, and it was the most terrifying thing I've ever done in my entire yeah. life. Yeah, it was fucking. Sc I mean, he was like sending it, and he was he had a camera on too. He was like, "Oh, you're the donut guy." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah. exactly." He was like, "Oh, I wanna, yeah. I wanna show off." I was like, "You don't need to do that, dude. <laughs> let's just let's just bring this thing around. <laughs> <laughs> let's just make it so we're, you know, two wheels on the on the pavement when we get back. Like, let's not let's not get crazy, you know." No, no fucking regard for human life. Just <laughs> absolutely, like just lick the stamp. Yeah, yeah, insanity. So, and he he's like a bush league, you know, like track guy. The MotoGP guys, I can't imagine, you know, the level of like how fast their brain can process stuff. It's nuts. I did. I went two up with Jack at the bend. Oh, really? And it was fully fucked. Oh, dude, no way. Like, it was not cool. No way. Yeah. Dude, that makes me nervous and, for you. And he goes... Because the bin's a big track. Oh, yeah. And he can probably get it hucking pretty fast. Well, there. we did... I'll, I'll show you some videos later. <laughs> we, we we did 287 Ks get down it. that front straight. No way. And then just overshot turn one. And, like, did, we almost crashed, like, four times <laughs> in three laps. And Jack was pissing himself <laughs> laughing. <laughs> it was fully psycho no. but so because i was doing a thing with J ducati in australia at the uh -huh. time so i was like doing some ambassador stuff yeah and so we're there jack came M maddie set up this like whole program with him to like race uh the last round uh -huh. and then so anyway so this is actually kind of a funny story but uh you know the whole kidney thing yeah so like it fucks with my blood pressure sure so i have like high blood pressure right so uh -huh. i had to like pass a medical uh -huh. to do it and uh -huh. i was anxious as a motherfucker I could only imagine so I that. get in to do this medical and the chick's doing the thing and she's like oh yeah you can't do it your blood pressures are like 197 <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like oh it's normal yeah. <laughs> so I fully tell this chick that like me be about to have a stroke is fine <laughs> <laughs> me being about to have a stroke before I get on the back of the MotoGP bike with the guy it was, it was a MotoGP bike <laughs> no it was oh, okay. it was just a like a two up it wasn't even a like a gnarly like wasn't even a fast bike it was very fast but it wasn't an actual yeah, yeah. so anyway get on the back of this thing and i went last mm -hmm. so jack could crash a descent like that they, you it they're all fucking legends and so they were like jace you go last so in case jack crashes like we've done all the actual test rides <laughs> and we're like what does that matter we're like filming yeah. the whole thing yeah. and jack well, i get on the thing and jack's like i'm fully prepared to crash <laughs> <laughs> like that's literally what he said as we took off and i'm like ah oh, fuck yeah and dude i was like i'm like all right this is just meditation yeah like you just have to let go yeah you just have to be at peace yeah the future's already written <laughs> whatever happens happens <laughs> like i was just fully in like if he dies he dies kind of <laughs> vibes you know and that motherfucker sent it bro like we did 240 kilometers an hour through a turn <sighs> you know turn three oh uh, did you drive there yeah we well i i i didn't get to drive there we took a like a like a rental car out on it to like just see the track well so yeah, yeah you got the first turn first right and then you go right and then yeah. you go up and there's like that big, yeah, big fast sweeper. open left dude, yeah, 240 yeah. yep it was fucking not okay <laughs> and like i explained the feeling of you know when you're about to fall off an office chair yeah. and you're like leaning back yeah. and then like gravity just stops doing its thing yeah, or whatever that thing is yeah. and you just have like that feeling in your gut like <gasps> i'm about to fall it's that every fucking single turn dude <laughs> every single time it's never not that and i'm like <laughs> and i'm like how do you find that out yeah how because that's crashing yeah like you're going so fast that you don't crash when you crash right. that's moto gp right and that's what those guys are just doing every lap. And like, man, there was one, there was one point, there's like a triple apex right hander that's a bit further into the lap. My fucking foot come off, dude. Like I just fully couldn't stay on the bike. My fucking foot hits the ground while we're wheel standing. We wheel standed like that, that whole way through that apex. The bike was wheels. Jack was fucking giving it, bro. My foot come off, drags the fucking bike. We're like full swapping and he did not back off. Just kept it wedged, dude. It was fucking out of control. Jeez. How so, many laps you do? One lap? Four, three. Oh my God. Oh, bro. 
Yeah. I did three laps at Button Willow. Did it have like the tank? Ripper? Yeah, yeah. And the arm pump. <laughs> I, got, I thought I'd die from that. Me too. The <laughs> hardest part was like, he, like the guy who's doing it, his name's Dustin. He was like, yo, tap me. He goes, we'll do three laps. Tap me if you want to stop. I didn't have that option. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have like, loved it. I was like, like we did too. And I was like, you're not fucking tapping this guy now. But I wanted to tap. Oh, he, he, I wanted to tap corner one. I was like, all right, I'm done. Like, I got the idea of what this is. And I gripped that thing so hard. I was like, oh, I'm going to fall off because I've gri- out gripped my arms. Like they're locked up now. Like I can't, you're going to have to peel them off the fucking tank gripper. Dude, it was insane. I could only imagine with Jack ripping it around. Well, and it's like, did you learn like here? And here's the thing. They were like, yo, do a two up so you can learn. Oh, like, for sure, dude. You learned some stuff. Yeah. what did you, I mean. Well, so, I guess the limit of what a bike can do. Well, that is, yeah. So there's definitely that. Like I actually, I because so it was sick doing the Ducati thing. Like I did it for two years with him in Australia, and I'd get a new bike like every kind of few months. Mm-hmm. And I did a few track days in that time. I think I did like four. I, I got to do Phillip Island. Oh, but I got to do Phillip Island after I did that with Jack, and I'm like really glad I did, mm-hmm. just to like understand the physics of what's actually possible sure and brandon seminuck said the same thing i don't know if you know who that he's like he's the dopest mountain bike dude in the world yeah but he does rally now so he's like won all these slope styles like he's won fucking rampage like and then he started doing rally and he won the fucking rally championship dude's yeah. a g yeah and he said the biggest thing with him was he got to go in a rally car with a rally driver and he was just like, it blew his fucking mind. Yeah. And he goes, okay, that's like what the limit is. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely did take something away from it. But what's cool is I actually went to Sete Gimenez's place in Spain. Mm-hmm. And we did these two up rides with him. And the other boys that were there, they'd never done it. And they didn't go like lean as far. So basically like when you're doing, he was on a motard. He's got like a track at his ranch, right? And so he basically was saying to the boys, like, just lean your head off the motorcycle as far as you can. Like, you could never put enough weight on the motorcycle. So you just lean the bike up, but put your head, basically touch the concrete, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's like, that will dictate how much I have to lean the bike to make the turn. And so when I went from doing that thing with Jack to that, I was like, oh, I know what, I know this. And there's like photos of me with like, literally my visor, like that far off the fucking ground. Cause you, can but yeah. if you never feel that feeling yeah you would never and that was i think the thing that blew me away the most i was like how the fuck do you work that out sure like how that just crashing a bunch that's got to be it right like well, knowing where the limit is i think that's like thing thing with cars it's like yeah you'll get in a car i remember like when i got in one of the race cars and i was like hammering it and then got in a car with someone who had like seasoned in that car and you're like oh this thing can fucking do way more than what I'm putting it. So, you know, like the physical limitation yeah. of it. Right. But for the guys to get to that point, they got to be like the test pilots of it, you know, and like figure out where the edge is. And I think like you got to cross it over and, you know, it's kind of like comedy where it's like, <laughs> yeah, you, know, you got to sometimes like you, you go over, you go too far or it's not funny. Right. Yeah. But you got to go too far sometimes to know, like not to go there. Yeah. And that's the same yeah, thing with yeah, like a yeah. motorcycle. You got to go over it. You got to crash. And I'm sure like, it's so funny where he was just like, Oh, I fully yeah, he didn't care. Crash. Cause yeah. he, he crashes all the time. Yeah. He, not like in a, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> but like, you know, like that's no, part they, of, they crash. They yeah. crash. Yeah. Like it's like a common thing to crash a bike, which is, another insane thing to Dude, think about lap three i was thinking like what's the slowest corner we could low side <laughs> like that's how bad i wanted out <laughs> it's just like a 15 mile an hour like like tight left hander you just fucking <laughs> <laughs> just go dead just whip. <laughs> do, like, do like the pissed off fucking exit out of the car yeah man just fucking hop off i'm done i'm Bye. out i'm yeah. out later dude tuck and roll yeah it that's was, cool i mean i'm glad i'm glad i can share a similar i never i don't know if i would ever do it with uh with jack i think that's doing it like i don't know yeah fuck the fact that i lived it's better i'm yeah, like you uh, can say it now and it's like i would pr- i would probably do it again like maybe knowing what i'm in for but like fuck me it was scary yeah and it was in front of so many people and i was so fucking scared what is he th- i mean isn't it 
like as a because i'll ride uh like my girlfriend loves riding on the back of and i have like a, a ducati 999 oh like, yes great bike yes she loves riding on the back of it and i'm like I, I don't know it's a completely different way to ride a motorcycle when someone's on the back oh yeah he's like massively hamstrung by me really yeah like huge yeah right i'm like how does it how can he just like it's not like he rides with people on the back every day so like there's a new level of like the limit for him with you on the back right so that concerns me oh, <laughs> like but, that would be terrifying because you're like jack i know you're a professional but you're not a professional with someone on the fucking back of this thing yeah he's a psycho <laughs> <laughs> but i'm like he's my friend yeah and he's a psycho <laughs> like i know him <laughs> He's a fucking psycho. He's just like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't care. Like, he is a legitimate... Like, he's gnarly as fuck. (laughs) (laughs) He... Have you ever seen him ride a motocross bike? Yeah. Oh, bro. He's nuts. Insane. Like, he's... He could qualify for a national. Like, he is so fucking good. Yeah. But just like... He's just a wild dude. Yeah. You know, like, he's one of those guys... It's like... You know how you see some guys in fighting like in the UFC and they're like very technical mm-hmm. and they're very like, they're, 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 you would say they're like an athlete more than a fighter. Sure. And then you see Nate Diaz and then he's just a fucking fight. He just That's wants just all the blood on his face. Right. He wants you to fuck him up. He wants his nose broken. Like mm-hmm. he just, he wants all the smoke like mm-hmm. cause he's kind of a psycho, mm-hmm. but he's also an incredibly gifted fighter. <laughs> yeah. Jack is a psycho that's an incredibly <laughs> gifted rider yeah you know and it's like that's that's like kind of his yeah. vibe. so yeah. whether it was three people on the back yeah. four like towing a trailer <laughs> <laughs> like doesn't matter he, he's up for it yeah he and he he's so talented and he's so psycho yeah that he can make like those scenarios work you know crazy We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.